Climate change is real. Due to the increasing in human activities, more carbon dioxide is being released into our atmosphere than ever before. Because of this, the greenhouse effect is trapping more heat, making the Earth hotter. About 70% of Earth's surface is covered with oceans. As a marine biologist, I am interested in investigating the impact of this climate change on the ocean environment and its marine life. Global warming and ocean acidification have massively changed the temperature and water chemistry of the ocean. Many marine species like corals and marine invertebrates are negatively impacted by these changes, and what's worse, some species become extinct. What about the top predators in the ocean? Are sharks negatively impacted by climate change? Because of overfishing and activities such as shark finning, the number of sharks in the ocean is rapidly declining. Today, a quarter of all sharks are threatened with extinction. Without sharks, ecosystems decline in health and other species suffer. But does the changing carbon dioxide affect shark species? With my supervisor, Dr. Holly Shields, we are hoping to answer this question. A crucial part of shark's life cycle is during the earliest developmental stages. About 40% of shark species lay eggs. This shark egg case is also known as the mermaid spurs. In the lab, we rear these shark egg cases under different climatic conditions, those from now and those predicted in the near future. We then study how climatic conditions affect growth, development, and metabolism of the shark embryos during development. To do this, we have produced our own shark embryonic developmental skill which helps us to track the effect of climate on developmental stages. Once hatched, we then study the shark's swimming ability and their metabolic rate. By gathering information about the shark biology and their susceptibility to climate change, we could provide important data to convince governments of the importance of sharks. This could lead to new laws protecting sharks from fishing pressure, more marine protected areas could be declared, and more conservation work could be funded. We will also pass this information on to resource and fisheries managers so they can work to create the best protection for sharks. But this is just the beginning. Much more work remains to be done to fully understand the whole impacts of climate change on sharks. Together we can unite to protect the sharks. Say no to shark finning, say no to climate change. My name is Shafiq Musa, I'm a PhD student at the University of Manchester.